Hey, welcome back. It's been a week. We've woke up to a very bizarre story, <clears throat> and many of us, you know, couldn't hold our tears when we heard the story in the morning on radio that a radio presenter, a lady, had been kidnapped and had been gang raped. And that was very, very chilling. It appears that there have been several other developments since then. The police came out first to say that it appeared that lady was talking about such a situation for the fifth time. This is supposed to be the sixth time, really, and that she had gone through it a number of times and sort of suggested she was not credible. Then all sorts of stories started coming up. As we know now, she was attended to at the Gapua Hospital. And then when she became very conscious and uh, could you know, speak to authorities, the IGP ordered that she be transferred to Accra. So she's been brought to Accra, and she's been attended to. We hope that, <coughs> as we are told, some psychologists and uh, psychiatrists or whatever special professionals they are, are attending to her. We have very limited time. I'll start with you, Kuku. Um, some say this is the media's creation, so we should not blame <coughs> the girl. Some also say it is the police that started on the wrong notes. So what are we talking about? Well, a bit it's worrying, it's confusing, uh, very perplexing. I am holding my fire. We haven't heard from the lady, have we? Not yet. We've heard from the dad and yeah. those who are close to her. That's a missing link in this chain <laughs> of so many accounts. So many people are talking. So many accounts, including the police. We may need a consolidated, conclusive account from the police before <coughs> perhaps we can all make an informed judgment. Because it's so confusing. Mm. The boyfriend is talking, the, the, the father is talking, you know, so many other accounts. Mm. So the, particularly the other accounts that she came here in Accra, uh, went to a hotel, booked yes. a hotel. The who, hotel manager is talking. Yes, the hotel manager. Mm. And that uh, she booked it for, she claimed she, they were going to act a movie. Yes. And she's the one who brought the guys into that place. Yes. So it's so it's good to wait. My only problem is having seen pictures, right. her nakedness, right. raw nakedness, big breasts and all that. Eh? That's, very, all, that's very, all you saw. No, the <laughs> dignity of a woman. That's where I'm coming from. Okay, the dignity of womanhood. It worries me. And you saw clear signs of someone who was being forced, strangled yeah, to some it, extent. It doesn't make sense. Mm. You see, why would she voluntarily consciously take part in a scene of that nature and post it out there. Mm. It worries me. She, doesn't she have dignity? She's not a woman? That is why I'm holding my fire. Mm. What, was she under some influence? Drugs? Whatever it is. It doesn't make sense. Have you seen the pictures? Yes, There's I've a seen, very I've graphic one yeah. mm. where her legs are wild apart. Yeah. You have guys who are holding each leg. And you have two different guys who are also the holding uh, the, the hands. So you can see the gate of Jerusalem? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> why why would a woman do that Bethlehem. to herself? Bethlehem. Bethlehem. No Don't you understand? Why would a woman consciously, <laughs> deliberately, voluntarily do that? Where is her dignity? Where is the dignity of her family, of her friends? I am still waiting. There are those who suggest that she may have you know, psychiatric problem, uh, but... Her dad says, no, the, 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 the girl is, is, is not suffering from any problem and Look. has also told us that her Nigerian name, he yeah. gave it to her, but her, her account name is See, whatever, Nana what, Akia Entry. Whatever it is, mm. I still think we ought to sympathize with her. As a woman, huh? what has happened? Whether she took part in it or not, mm. the, the lo loss of dignity, God-given, you know, Right. So it's what worrying. do you say to the other angle of where some media houses, you know, went ahead and published those pictures? 
Well, I've seen on social media, but I haven't seen any print, like mainstream media. Oh, print, it was. It was on some, some oh, print. Then Very I, popular online. And even TV, TV stations. They you don't mean it. it. I'm telling you. Yes. <laughs> but you see, uh, also the, the, manage, the owners mm. of the station disclosed their identity ahead of time. Right. Of course, they thought they were dealing with kidnap mm. at that material moment. Mm -hmm. And some of these pictures had come out. So it now became difficult not to link the two, that this is the person. Otherwise, ethically, we're not, we not supposed to be doing that. But I haven't seen, I thought I saw on social media. It's, uh, it's on my WhatsApp. Uh, no, mm. Egbert Fabu sent them to me. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe. They were being circulated. I, they were being circulated all, all over. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> all over. No. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I the, think the, the Media should... Foundation for West Africa has expressed concern about it. Yeah. Some media puts it out. Yes, it's, it's, if it's true, because I haven't seen the mainstream media thing. It's on social media and my WhatsApp. That's it was, what it was on Adom online. Wow. It was on uh, I see. Peace FM online. You mean UTV? even the one that she had opened her legs? I'm telling you. It's incredible. Kofi, <coughs> what, what, what do you say about the story? Some say this, this is the latest uh, movie in town, but there are doctors who are telling us that we should be careful. We need to sympathize with her, that she's suffering from a particular you know, disorder and needs attention. Yeah, uh, Samson, that's what happens when you you speak with the professionals, they will tell you that, look, somebody who goes through this situation can behave in a certain way. Yeah. I've had encounter with persons who have told me that a lot of women are described as being witches when they get to a certain stage. Now, when they are going through the menopausal symptoms, they behave in an abnormal way, and people tend to conclude that they are, they are witches. But this case seriously goes possibly beyond that. For how if the narrations from the hotel manager, from the, uh, the boyfriend, is anything to go by, then this is not something that, that just happened in a flash. This is something she planned, left her base in Sakuradi to Accra, booked into a hotel, got people in to come and do what they have. They have. So listening to all these stories, for me, it's, 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 quite, it's, quite, it's quite a lot. They, the boy was not arrested, I'm told. He handed himself over to the police when he started hearing the stories that rape, rape, rape. So they wanted to clear the other, no, this was not, this was something that was, that everything was, was really made up. You see, there was one particular picture, and I had that running debate on a social platform. When I saw that picture, the one Kweku was talking about seeing the gate to Jerusalem, you could see somebody who was more like smiling towards the camera. If you watch the eyes, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. If you watch the eyes, the eyes was not that of somebody who who was worried about what was being done. Distress. They had been distressed. It's more like was was viewing the, the 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 person holding the camera more than even the people who were strangling, possibly should have been strangling her. So I raised that question. I was uh, people didn't accept it because. Anyone seeing such pictures will be, will be, will be seriously worried. Yeah. When the doctor came up subsequently that, when they assessed her body, <coughs> they didn't see marks of struggle. If you have, you go through a gang rape situation, mm. and by nature, the skin of women is normally very softer than that of men. So, so a struggle will generate some kinds of marks on the, on the, on the bruises on the body. Mm. This was not found anywhere on her body. That was where I started even believing more of what I was thinking about. But like we are all saying, it's early days yet. Let's wait for the police to do some uh, further, further, further works. And it brings to call, if you listen to the dad, how well sometimes we know our children also. Mm. If what he's saying ends up not being true, Meaning that maybe he, there's, she's a double-faced possible person. You present it. The claim is that she was doing this to, to get the attention of her ex-boyfriend. That is disaster. How yeah. do you get attention by doing this? You have finished yourself. You will not get any attention. Haven't, everybody haven't seen, like we could say. It gets really the, bizarre the, when the, the police say the, that uh, she's done this five times. times. Yeah, and yeah, uh, just yeah, that it's not yeah. come, it's not gotten the prominence that uh, this one has gotten. But Ernest, you know what? Dr. Ernest Kwaku yeah. says that. Uh, Princess Ada could possibly be suffering from multiple personality disorder. Mm. She needs our sympathy. 
instead of rebound anger. The police need to team up with criminologists and a psychotherapist to evaluate her henceforth. Then my last point on it, you know what? It gives us some also information that as a media and as a people, we need to sometimes be careful what we put out there and how quick we put certain things right. out there. Yes, you cannot blame them entirely, mm. but gradually it's informing us. Right. The army now you turn comes to mind, this mm. one comes. And the minister who said a bullet. All, yeah, all, all, all those yeah, things. Yeah, also, yeah, it was a target they, of they, 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 they reportage <laughs> all that. If you come back, if it's all true. Interest. No, 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 okay. it's no, true. Okay. Look, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'd like it, to hear Mike on this. You remember the son, the son of a minister need, who said he had be, been kidnapped in yeah. 2000? We remember all those things. I'd like to, I like to hear Mike on this, out, but I, Mike, I'd like you to take it from this angle of the law and very instructive. In the midst of all of the talk, then Senior A. Zankuma post a comment to seek to educate everybody else, and then we begin to change from abduction to mm. kidnapping and all of that. This yeah. is what he says. Let's do a little law. Under Ghana law, you can't abduct a grown-up. The crime of abduction is only committed with respect to a person under 18 years of age. <laughs> this is an adult. So where the alleged victim is an adult, the offense is kidnapping. Strange, but true. Now, the key ingredients of kidnapping are, one, that another person is unlawfully imprisoned. Unlawfully imprisoned. <laughs> Can we say that she was unlawfully imprisoned? And two, that it was without his or her consent. In this uh, situation, can we also say it was without her consent? She booked the hotel room and brought the people there. So when a person says she staged her own kidnapping and hired <coughs> a, ho a hotel room, which she moved freely in and out of, where is the imprison? And doesn't staging, uh, doesn't staging it also mean that she consented to it? So what offense have the young men committed being part of a lie? You know some young men are being picked up. But then okay. they post the obscene pictures. So absent any further facts, evidence, he thinks, uh, this case, Yamutu, best shot might be obscenity and conspiracy and abetment oh. of it. Okay. What do you say? Legally. Let's look at from the legal spec um. angle. Spot on, but let me start by the reference to Ace. Mm. You know, Ace's favorite song is Ada Ada. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's his favorite song. So maybe before he gave us his legal rendition, he should have given us a musical rendition of the song Amazing. before we, we, we go on to that. I yes. thought his uh, favorite <laughs> now, song was uh, uh, Machene Radi. Uh, well, <laughs> that one we'll give to uh, uh, um, the, the famous. Uh, 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 captain in Krabia it's Kalati. not the one I'm referring to. Go on. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so this issue, <clears throat> a lot of people are trying to say that the girl is bad. You know, when people do things without motive, for example, they have no purpose. But this is somebody who, even though her mind is a bit cuckoo, she seems to have had a certain purpose why she was doing this. And when the boyfriend, you know, the guy is called Nelson Williams, a young boy of 18 just 18 years. years old. So, the, the, not the boyfriend, the man. Okay, this, this is the man who yes. tells us about the hotel. Yes, 18 years mm. old. So, then comes the word impressionable. And you know what that also means in terms of law. An impressionable young man <coughs> who can therefore be coerced, be influenced by this older woman usually for monetary value, to take part in a so-called movie. We don't know what he was told. He could have been told, oh, this is a movie scene for somebody who is being raped, so let us do it, and then blah, blah, blah. It's just an, a small side action, whatever it was. But the bottom line is that I want to go with what the police told us. They say that she did it because she said her boyfriend had jolted her, and she wanted to portray a scene for the boyfriend to believe that his new girlfriend no, was is that the police the saying this? Yes, that the this girl is has what the, no, the boy uh -huh, okay. who came and told them this. That's a Nelson Williams. Okay, so it's not the police. Yeah, the police are telling us that this is what the girl said. That's what the police, the boy said. Uh -huh, okay. They can only tell us the statement. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the first aspect. Then the police go on to tell us that Nelson, the same young gentleman, further went on <coughs> to tell them that. This was so that Ade's boyfriend, when he sees the pictures, he will feel pity for her and would accuse the new girlfriend of being the one who kidnapped. So 
even the person who staged this thing had malice. You see, it was a malicious plot to pretend that she, as they would say, malice aforethought. She mm. had malice aforethought before she went to even get herself involved in this. And this makes it a very, very serious offense. The question Sardis have asked is, what did the police do the, the five times that they became aware that she had been doing these things? You see, this is Except where, that they say she wasn't cooperating. Came. When there, there is no criminal element involved, mm. it is very difficult to prosecute. Okay. But I'm bringing in more by saying that this was done with malicious intention mm -hmm. to try and frame someone, implicate someone in, in a crime of kidnapping. And then you go on to the things of, for example, deceiving a police officer, mm -hmm. all these kind of things, are all issues that can be looked at. Because why would you do this? And you see, most of the press houses, they didn't have control of this. Mm -hmm. Because it was posted on social media and WhatsApp, even before anybody could say, hey, presto. Right. It was out there. Mm -hmm. So whether you like it or not, you will see it in your face. Mm -hmm. uh, say he got his own from uh, uh, Big Brother Egbert. I just saw mine from uh, 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 Kufi right now, and I, I was shocked because I haven't even seen the other three. I saw uh, um, um, others, but they were not as graphic as this. And I am shocked that anybody who is trying to frame someone will go to this extent of traveling down. You see, you see the preparedness mm. of the crime, and preparation towards a crime in itself shows a certain intent, and that can make you even more guilty. You travel down. You hire a hotel, you get extras. You see what they call them, extras. <laughs> they come and uh, 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 perform a certain scene. Then when you finish that, you definitely would give them maybe some monetary remuneration. Mm. Then you finish and post it on social net. Now her, her next, nakedness. That, 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 that's the other aspect that uh, Kweku, but you see, Kweku, is Kweku about agrees the with uh, Ezan Kuma that could be looked at. I mean, circulation of obscene Yes, but uh, listen. Material. But she did it no. with her food. Yes, that's but if, if right. the person Okay, did sorry, it, we are, we are run out of time. Let me land on we are run out of time. Okay. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Abdul Malik Kweku Bako, editor-in-chief of the New Crusading Guide newspaper. He's a regular panelist. Uh, Kofi Adams is national organizer of the National Democratic Congress. Michael Quay Jr. is lawyer and deputy communications director of the New Patriotic Party. Dr. Josiah was supposed to be with us. I have no word why he couldn't make it. We hope you are, you are in good health. Have a good afternoon. I'm Samson Ladi Anyanini. The show, uh, my outfit as always, is provided by Latida. Have a good afternoon. The news is up next.